Hey guys, so I just uh, recently opened up my 36 gallon Bowfront Aquarium for tropical fish. And uh, I've had it up for about three weeks now. Got a bunch of platies, some black skirt tetras, my angel fish, uh, about five shrimp, five, six shrimp in there. And then I have a molly right here. Or where is he at? Right, right about, right, right there. And then I have two neon tetras in there, which I'm actually getting rid of soon because of my angelfish. And, um, well, I've had a few platies that have been at the surface gasping for air, and I didn't know why. I was looking it up online and everything, and it, uh, well, at first it started out with one, and now it moved to three of them doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a water change and see if that helps, because I really don't wanna be losing any fish right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the lid and get this set up in there. Oh, let me untangle that. Okay. There we go. Got that going. And um, when I'm about halfway done with the water change, I'll go ahead and give you all an update on it. But, uh, I'll be right back. Now I'm doing about 50% of the water for the change. And uh, well, I had a little spill, so I got to put a towel on the ground. And um, well, I actually wanted to add one more angelfish to the aquarium because I think that they are such beautiful fish. I'm just worried that they're going to eat my neon tetras, so I'm getting rid of those. But um, the reason I got the black skirt tetras is because I wanted to get some bigger fish for it without it actually being harmful to the platies and the molly. But um, next time I go to the store, I'm thinking about getting, or no, I'm definitely going to plant the tank. I want to get some actual plants to let off oxygen in here because I don't think that this aerator is really doing much because all it does is increase the surface area I want oxygen to be released directly into it. In the tank with right now is I have a 50 gallon filter by Marineland and I have a 15 gallon filter by, uh, what is that? What brand is that? I believe that's Tetra. Um, but I just wanted to double filter it because I have a decent amount of fish in here as you can see right there all piled in the corner right there, freaked out about the water change. But I, w I do want to add a few more, and I thought that I would I should probably double filter it because I'll be producing a lot of waste, and I got the shrimp, so they would pick up some of the waste. There's one of my platies hiding out there. Um, I have a 400 watt submersible heater, and I have this aerator by Tetra, I believe. But um, I mean, when I do put the plants in, I'm gonna I plan on keeping the aerator. Just because, you know, better for the fish's health. But, um, I'm not sure what all I want to put in here after I put in the other angel fish. Maybe just, uh, only just a few more fish, I guess. But, probably a few more mollies. Um, maybe some gold barbs. Gold barbs are really cool. But, uh, I'm not entirely sure right now. But, uh, this will be the, uh last bucket and then I'll start filling it back up and I'll be right back. So I'm filling my tank now and add the dechlorinator. I like to put a little extra in there than you're supposed to because you know I don't want my fish getting hurt. Um, so I read online that you could use your hose to fill your tank up but I'm not entirely sure so for now I'm gonna do it one time, testing it. If it doesn't, if, and if I see any signs wrong with my fish, I'm gonna do an immediate 75% water change. But um, my fish seem to be okay right now, thankfully. Um, let me clean off the tank a little bit. I still don't know where my Pleco is. He's hiding. He doesn't really like water changes. There's another one of my shrimp, by the way, right there. 
Um, and my snail, he's still, you know, of course, inside the uh, skull. There's a close-up of my angelfish. I think it's beautiful. Um, shrimp, of course. I unplugged the filters. I unplugged the uh, heater. I kept the aerator on because there was no harm in keeping that on. Um, I need to clean out the inside a little bit. I see some of the uh, shrimp shed. But see, that's what my fish have been doing right there. At the top, gasping. And then the other ones will go and check on them and they'll get pissed off. But I, I just don't understand what's going on. If any of you guys know what's going on, let me know. I don't think the tank levels are low or the oxygen levels are low because they're not all doing it. I feel like it um, nitrate levels are high or something, but I don't have a tester yet. I just, uh, sometimes I just borrow my friends to test. But um, when I get paid on Friday, I'm gonna go out and buy a um, tester kit some plants for it, and just a lot of good stuff because I want to keep my fish in good conditions and I don't want them to get hurt. I have lost a few fish already. I lost a Neon Tetra due to getting stuck in the filter. I lost a Platy. I don't know how I lost that Platy. And then I lost another Neon Tetra due to gasping at the top. So that's why I'm really worried about these fish and I'm taking care of it. But, uh, so uh, the um, water change is done. Looks pretty good right now. I mean, everything's settling back down a little bit. Water does look slightly dirty, but it's just gotta give it time to settle down. This filter is trying to start back up. I primed it and everything, but since it's not a good brand, I guess it just takes forever to start up. So you can see it's finally starting to go. And then, this one, this one's immediate. I mean, I love this. This is a great filter. This is the one that came with my tank. And um, this one I bought afterwards because I want good filtration for my fish. But um, I put a lot of the uh, conditioner in there to get rid of heavy metals and stuff because of, the, um, because of the hose. But I read online that it's okay to use the hose and stuff. So what I did was I turned the hose on. I left it running for about five minutes before I put it in my tank and filled it up. But I will do the water change if there's anything wrong. But um, right now, it's actually feeding time for these little guys. They haven't ate today, so I'm about to feed them. So I actually feed them Tetra Pro Tropical Crisps. Crush them up because they're small, but they go crazy. As you can see, I do put a lot in there. I have a, a lot of fish. They tear it up. I feed them twice a day. They love it. But, um, so, um, I do try to do water change every, like, twice a week, maybe. At least 50%. I do do that because I feel that is what's needed for this tank right now because... I don't have a lot of cleaners in there that like do a lot because my pleco is very tiny so far and my shrimp they're just they don't do much they do a good amount that's why i have them they don't do anything like a big common pleco would oh actually why angelfish didn't eat all my ghost shrimp because there's one right now um they all seem to be doing better right now Except for this guy in the back, he's being a little weird. These guys are still searching for food, they're starving. Um, I'll probably feed them some more. But, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Please, uh, do give me suggestions on what other fish to put in here. I might move some of these when I get a new tank, put them in a different one so I can get more variety in this one. But um, if you do actually watch all the way through, just give me some suggestions on what next. And I'll try to keep you guys informed on everything I do with my aquariums. Thank you.